This section is uh, dedicated to chocolate uh, storage. So this is the way how I stored the uh, chocolate molds. I want to show you the, uh, the difference. This is the original uh, chocolate mold. We can see it says uh, chocolate world made in Belgium. All right. This is the one that is plastic and it's um, kind of like made in China. All right, so this I don't recommend for chocolate bonbons. Uh, while it is still nice to have something like this for decorations, for example, you see it's a spoon that works, it's perfectly fine. This, this specific mold is my favorite. This is the only one I'm using to create a small uh, chocolates that are uh, stuffed with nuts and uh, uh, berries, dried berries inside. So that's the perfect easy shape. Then We have, um, I have few of the uh, plastic molds for larger chocolate bars. By the way, I tried the mold of the uh, spheres. This is uh, uh, three centimeters and uh, honestly, guys, it doesn't work. So I do not recommend you to go with this. If you want to have, to make spheres, go with the silicone or with the polycarbonate uh, molds like this. So, for example, this is the uh, sphere mold. So, when it comes to choice of the uh, chocolate molds, go with something that has no decorations inside. For example, half sphere is the best. Let me give you another example. Okay, this is also my favorite and you can see that I don't wash the molds from here right before I use. You can just scrap it with the scrapper and that's it. The main idea is that we wash it when we make the chocolate, so we wash it from inside. Another example, okay, when you are choosing the mold, first thing is there are no decorations from this side and it's quite deep. So we will be able to fill with various fillings. For example, this one the lips it's perfect yes it does have a small curve but it's still okay this is very nice if you don't want to color the chocolate you can just make a dark chocolate shell but it's deep and large so you are able to fill even two layers of filling crunchy layer and coat it with the bottom uh, example of something that and you can see also you can see that the ones I'm always using of course they're on the top and the ones I never use they are somewhere hidden this is an example of something I got and uh, I couldn't uh, find the way how to use it you see I still have uh, colored cocoa butter and this is what I see from the beginners who want to have a nice decoration on the chocolate by using a wrong mold so you see that the idea is nice, it's a nice flower, but it's very, very hard and tricky to paint inside. Uh, so uh, this mold I don't recommend. And the best is to have something that has no uh, decorations on it, right? So that's the chocolate mold. You can see I have two, four, six, around ten in order to make at the same time a big quantity of chocolates. Let's go further. Here I have my chocolates. So I tried a lot and here I have the selection that I like the best, the most. So when it comes to dark, of course it's a uh, uh, Calibor 54%. Uh, uh, it's important that you pay attention to liquidity. This is the drops that uh, mean how fluid is your chocolate. So you can use it for uh, chocolate bonbons, you can use it for decorations, of course for ganaches. Uh, the other example of a very delicious chocolate is the brand Cacao Bari uh, Nexic. So it's 66%, 54, here is 66. And it also has the same amount of uh, uh, drops. It's delicious chocolate. So Cacao Bari is a little bit higher level than the Calibo, but you can always burn. So this is in terms of dark. Milk chocolate I use very rare. I don't have even an example here. And when it comes to white, I use, because I bought this, I use the Sikau uh, chocolate, but it's uh, made in Belgium, so it's from Calibo, but they uh, 
have two brands so they make the Calibo white chocolate and then under the same brand they made a little bit more affordable cheaper and they call it Sikao so it's in Kalets and it's white chocolate it's 28 percent uh, another chocolate that I use for macarons, this is a cacao bari and it is a zephyr. Uh, it has 34% cacao butter, so it's super delicious and tasty. And the fluidity is very high as well. So if you want to make a decorations, where to show that it's zephyr, yeah, this is written here, zephyr. This is the name of the chocolate, white chocolate, very delicious one. So this is the chocolate, cocoa butter. I'm buying uh, cocoa butter in the big containers. That's always uh, better. Irka is a very good brand uh, and uh, it's 4 kg. Uh, cocoa butter comes in the big chunk, but I uh, uh, just break it. So it's easy for me to take and then scale and melt. Next to this cocoa butter, I have uh, uh, Nikrio cocoa butter from Calibo uh, that I'm using to temper the chocolate, right? So that's the uh, chocolate section. And this is the box where I store my uh, ready velour mixture. So when, the, uh, when I velour the cakes and I have leftover, this is how you can store just in an airtight container, velour mixture. And you can also store the painted cocoa butter. When we work with the uh, chocolate molds, we dissolve the paint in the cocoa butter in order to paint. So all leftovers, and you can make it in advance. You can also store just at the room temperature. It doesn't have to go to the fridge, right? Here behind, I have some items that I uh, work um, uh, for uh, vegan cakes. And this is the brand that you can remember and the search for it. Uh, it has lots of uh, interesting ingredients. For example, soya whip that you can uh, replace the eggs in your cakes to make a nice meringue. All right. A little bit of uh, uh, sprinkles. So here I have uh, all the uh, gold and uh, this gold is from uh, cake box Rolkem gold. Uh, the best so far I found it's from uh, Kandurin brand. I will leave all the links in the description to this video. And uh, well, the most I use silver and gold again from the uh, Russian brand and also I have leftover from the, from the Rolkem right then let's see what we have in this section so i tried to a little bit segregate for you uh colors a big big question of colors so we have two types of colors we have water-based and we have oil-based so that's why i divided them in uh, two boxes uh, one is water-based one is oil-based okay both of these colors can be gel and can be powder. That's why I have gel color in an oil-based section and I have uh, powder color. Of course, powder uh, is better because um, um, you need less quantity to use. But for example, these colors, they're made in Poland and they are 100% natural. For example, the orange comes from, uh, this is beta carotene that uh, carrots contain right so there is there are no other uh, additives rosemarine and beta carotene that's all it doesn't give the extreme bright color but uh, it was nice to try so uh, natural gel for chocolate all right so if your suppliers don't understand what it means oil based or uh, uh, soluble you can tell them for chocolate so that's how they define for uh, uh, liquids like uh, meringue and so on creams and for chocolate okay dioxide titanium is my number one tool and uh, mainly yeah, I have yellow red green um, purple just the basics okay and the same for water-based colors then in this uh, in this box I store all my types of sugars so what sugars do we have we have inverted sugar we have glucose 
we have fructose, we have dextrose, and uh, yeah, that's also dextrose. Uh, uh, organic uh, sugar I have and a little bit of fondant as well here. So these sugars like fructose, dextrose, they are for chocolates and the inverted sugar nowadays I'm using everywhere. Another interesting box is from uh, Cake Up 24. So here I have all the natural uh, colors that are uh, colors at the same time, but uh, mostly they are flavors. So for example, we have here matcha tea, we have here coconut I liked a lot, raspberry. This uh, is green grass, gives very nice uh, uh, green color and doesn't give any flavor. Okay. What's hidden here? All right, let me show you this box. Uh, these are my uh, silicone molds um, for uh, teddy bears and everything. You're always guys asking how to make. So you can make a teddy bear. You can make, a, what do I have here? Lion, unicorn, duck. Yeah, and the bear. So that's how they look like. Uh, in this box, I have lots of almond flour, uh, almond powder, uh, because I'm making macarons. So obviously this is uh, one of the main ingredients. All right. So I always buy a big quantity and just store it separately in one box. Okay. Then this box, it's like a box of shame because this is not how you're supposed to store your silicone molds, especially they are all original and cost a lot. But because I'm currently not using them, I just throw them in one box but of course you guys shouldn't do like this so uh, when it comes to silicone molds um, how do you choose because see uh, I have a lot of the shapes and honestly the best that I'm using is the circles and I'm always telling uh, my students on the classes my online classes the best shape is circle because it's like a clean sheet of paper that you can put all your artistics to it all right all the decorations so uh this is 16 centimeter uh shape that you can make one kg cake and it can be a second tire on a bigger ring this is also it's not a circle because it has more curved edges can be also a second tire when you are choosing shapes think how you will implement it so for example I want a smaller shape because it can be my second tire. So this is my bottom, for example, and this can go on top or the bottom can be bigger and the heart is 500 grams can go on top, right? When uh, we are choosing uh, shapes, it's important to know, uh, can we glaze them or velour them? So for example, this is the original uh, geometric heart from uh, uh, Dinara Casco production and uh, uh, this quite hard to glaze, right? Because it has all these uh, uh, angles. So that goes for velour. Another example of heart, this is a uh, Pavoni brand. So Pavoni, uh, Italy, uh, it's, uh, they're always black. Silica mart are white and gray. I'll show you a gray example, right? So this is the heart that is easy to glaze, velour, or put half glaze, uh, half uh, velour. Uh, uh, many molds, for example, this is the um, Chinese mold, right? Yes, this is not in Italy. But uh, if you are not aiming to bake in it, that's fine. You can just um, you can just use it for freezing. So uh, just to show you the difference, you see how light I can just you know I can do like this with this silicone. So it's very thin. And if uh, you are uh, buying a, a Chinese mold, a big one that is from the thin, thin silicone, it will not hold the weight of your cake. And just an example, it's quite hard to do the same. This is uh, uh, original uh, mold and you can see the big difference. So if I put it on the tray and I fill with the cakes, they, it will hold the weight of the cakes, right? 
uh, what I'm also uh, using a lot is this popsicles this is um, uh, original and the, uh, the package comes with two so you have uh, two four six eight sixteen uh, and they go with the tray because again without the tray it's hard to move it and you just place it on the tray like this then you put the sticks and you make your popsicles you freeze them decorations or candy bar perfect um, again when it uh, comes to uh, mini cakes the same as uh, with the big cakes as more complicated the shape is as more time you put to create it as more expensive your cake is because you spend so much time a shape of mango all right perfect very nice but if you don't have a special cutter you can buy this mold with the cutter you need to uh, freeze the center in some special way you need to cut uh, you need to have a cutter for the cake so it takes a long time and yeah i bought it i tried it i'm not using it the best is this mold is very nice for mini uh, mousse cakes or any other cake small because they're quite tall so you can really fill it with layers and this is circle you always have a cookie cutter in the shape of circle so it's easy to find for centers and for uh, sponges for decorations when it comes to small elements for decoration like these donuts i have in my honey cake master class i use these donuts for decoration to put mousse donuts on top the chinese ones work perfectly because they're small and uh, there is nothing to hold the weight they work perfectly so the, in this case these ones are uh, fine uh, another mold i'm always using it calls globe it's from silica mart again original so how do you know it's original it will say that it is made in italy okay the chinese ones they cannot put this label on it and this is for the center and also um uh, i have a free video class on my uh, uh, page on in IGTV how to create a very nice um, finger food uh, dessert using this mold so this is very handy this one is super handy when it comes to um, okay let me show you this also I use this a lot this calls impression mat you can see I cut it because originally it's double height it's very big but you can cut uh, with the scissors any size and shape you want so for example you want to uh, create a surface on your uh, mousse cake so you just make this as your uh, bottom you put the ring on top you assemble your cake when you flip you just peel it off and you get the impression of heart it can be coffee beans anything so this is nice because having only a ring a metal ring and impression mat you can create lots of designs all right let's move further so here um i have a small only small container of beads because i currently don't make customized cakes the most beautiful uh, beads are from cake up 24 again you can order you see how big uh, you see how big uh, they are and very beautiful uh, colors uh, i have a box with tools for isomalt and uh, check my latest video on youtube about isomal tools in that video i cover it all uh, pastry bags um, the bigger the better uh, depends again on what you're making i'm making zephyr so i need a big bag so i can pour all the zephyr batch i'm making macarons for macarons this is perfect you see they are um, glossy from inside uh, and uh, of course i'm washing it and reusing it at least 10 times right for one bag at least 10 times so again you are saving not only the environment not to throw it every time but also your money because this is also included in the cost of your cakes remember it uh very very nice my favorite um, cups for cupcakes with them um this is not a wire inside it's just a thick line of paper but you can just put it like this in on your uh, tray and bake it without any other holder so this holds the weight of your cupcake very nice uh and uh, yeah some papers also get, got it from cake of 24 uh, different colors to wrap your chocolates okay then this uh, 
place is my storage of my ready items so we are currently in the basement and the temperature is approximately 17 18 degrees and very low humidity so it allows me to store my ready meringues just in a closed box you see they're not sticky they're not wet there is no moisture but again you need to store it in a closed container so like a part of my uh, uh, decorations when you're making meringues you can make a lot right uh, ready chocolate decorations this is uh, this will be uh, revealed soon the master class for this decoration so you can see this is chocolate and nothing happens to it and you can store it all right then when it comes to uh when it comes to uh storage of your colored chocolate when you finish work with your chocolate you pour it on a parchment paper you let it harden and then break it and store it in the bag so next time when you need to make the decoration you just take the bag with your colored chocolate melt it temper it or if it's compound just melt it and use it so you can even do it on purpose if you need white black pink green you can color the big batch and just prepare it will save time whenever you have a chance to save time on preparation it means you are saving the cost of your cake all right so this is uh, the full box of colored chocolate then here i have the acetate uh, paper two containers one is for the special uh, uh, acetate impressions that you can use and you can make the uh, ribbon around the cake this requires practice and confidence in work with chocolate and compound chocolate does not apply and does not work for this um, uh, impression belts so you need to work with the real chocolate you need to temper it and it's very important that you are working at a certain temperature all right so also uh, for this type of decorations for example you can also spot uh, in my uh, cakes uh, some uh, orchids let me just show you how it looks like right uh, I will leave the link uh, to the cake with this decoration and also where you can buy this again all real chocolate so this is also you when you pour the ch you place it on a portion paper you pour the chocolate then you remove it and you have left the uh, this uh, uh, details that you assemble it in an orchid and it can be any flower right so this is but again this is for uh work with the real chocolate and a little, it, it is time consuming so we have to price it very high so for uh, uh, premium cakes you can use this uh, and then also very important box is the acetate paper i cannot imagine my pastry life without the acetate rolls when you choose the acetate rolls it's important that you pay attention to the thickness it calls micron this acetate is 130 micron and this is the best for for all your purposes you want to put it inside the ring to assemble the cake you want to make a chocolate ribbon around the cake of uh, uh, chocolate feathers anything right so i'll show you the difference so this is 130 micron and when you buy it from the supplier you can specify which which thickness you're looking for for example uh, this uh, is uh, 180 so you can see that you can spot see the difference this is like thicker really thicker and this is like thinner one and 100 micron i think i don't even have example i threw them all let me see no this is 130 yeah because 100 micron is super thin and it's um yeah this is also 130 and it's uh, there is not much use it's too thin i mean it's it's too hard uh, to work with so 130 is the best so this is the box and of course uh, a thick one is reusable you wash it and you use it again and again uh, where am i uh, using this to adjust the height of my cake using the metal rings so this is the box with the rolls then when it comes to the uh, cake boards uh, cake boards and here i have um, cake boxes when you are choosing you have to choose it together 
you cannot buy separately cake boards and then separately boxes then they will not match and you will struggle a lot choose the box and find the board that fits that box so for example if your cakes are from this small to this big you can choose something in the middle for example like this size all right so no matter no matter how uh, the board how your cake is smaller or bigger it will still look nice on a big board so you choose the size of the box accordingly in dubai i used to order in a big quantity boxes uh 31 uh, centimeters and they had boards 30 that's it one size of the box one size of the boards and the uh, uh, the, uh, the mats for macarons so this is the uh, teflon sheets and they have one two three four three and there four five in order to make one and a half batch in one go for macarons so this is how i'm storing them don't roll them you will break it and uh, it's very hard to work with afterwards they have to be flat right so you can store your silicone mats together with them uh, together with them teflon sheets what other so i have silicone mats various different uh teflon sheets and one only but if i will plan to work with the eclairs more i have perforated sheet for baking tarts and eclairs and here also i store the uh, template you can make it yourself just two carton pieces with the scotch tape for any shape of macaron that you want to pipe so you can just put it underneath and it's like an impression so you can pipe and the final section of my storage is the rings this is so small quantity because again this is my temporary place of living so i just have few um when you are choosing rings so for example you are making mousse you need to have the final ring for assembling and the smaller for center the difference usually is two centimeters so 16 14 right 18 20 and so on if you have a chance to find a uh, tall rings this is made in belarus uh, you can find it also in russia you can order it tall rings uh, uh, help you to assemble taller cakes right but still if you have a thick acetate that you remember i showed you you can put the thick acetate to adjust the height and you can assemble this big like 20 centimeters cake all right so these are the rings then my uh spray gun right let's put it here it is wagner okay wagner w100 i don't know where it's written here. ah okay w100 that's the uh, model that is uh, available if you can see on the picture it has nothing to do with pastry right it's to spray paint on the walls but it shouldn't stop you from uh, using it because that's the best tool to spray velour on cakes so wagner or bosch pfs 2000 i will leave the link to it as well the difference is that in wagner this that's all this is how the machine looks like so this is the um spray this is all washable and this is what we adjust here all right in order to spray but in bosch to these tools there is one more a bigger one that you have to put it on your shoulder and it's a little bit inconvenient so if you have the choice to get wagner or bosch go for wagner because it's smaller and it's just more compact and just easier to work with all right when i was buying the wagner there was a very good promotion and you can also inquire for that to buy a heating gun this is the one all right heat gun uh it doesn't so it, i got this brand because there was a promotion if you buy this you get a discount for this right but it doesn't matter which brand you can get the cheapest all right and uh this is how it looks like so implementations of this it's a lot and it helps you a lot in pastry it just makes your life easier and whatever makes your life easier you should invest in it 
uh, when you're making the chocolate decorations, uh, chocolate bonbons, you just place it on, you, you turn it on, you just place it on the table like this, not towards you, right, from your side, it can work uh, laying down on the table, you bring your knife or your spatula to heat up and you continue with your decorations, okay, you can use it to remove your frozen cake uh, from the ring after the freezer, it's very nice. You can melt chocolate in a bowl. You can just melt. I use it when I'm tempering the chocolate. So it's a very nice tool. And if you have a chance to get it, that's a good investment. All right. And uh, yeah. And the last uh, is the uh, boxes. So again, uh, I, I have boxes just for that um, uh, things that I'm currently making for uh, chocolates and few boxes. Uh, for uh, cakes and for assorted uh, desserts that I'm selling right now and I'm packing everything with the uh, tissue papers so I have them as well together with the ribbons and with some small thank you cards that I can write something on it and uh, uh, attach. I think uh, that's all right now, so you can see that uh, even if you are making a, a little bit of desserts, you need to have tools that will help. So I gather the uh, remaining tools that I uh, store in my kitchen, so let's start from this side. Uh, so spans, I have all the sizes and they're all double bottom. So you can see that there is this line here, which means it's a double bottom. Um, and that's the best when we cook uh, uh, pastry creams, uh, uh, so they don't burn creme anglaise and so on. So I have all the sizes for small, uh, medium and uh, large. Then we have the uh, uh, measuring cups. Uh, I cannot imagine my life without it. I have like 10 or 15 pieces of all different sizes and this is the most handy tools uh, you can imagine because you can uh, assemble your ingredients here and you can blend with the hand blender then you can uh, store it in the fridge or you can pour if you're making the mousse. This is super uh, super handy and plastic balls I'm not showing you but I'm using the microwavable ones then uh, also very handy is the coffee grinder uh, okay so that's I think the simplest one but I can ground the nuts I can make uh, uh, almond flour for macarons by myself I can make uh, hazelnut flour for cakes anything or you can even make your own icing sugar in no time so that's super handy uh, hand mixer, yes, I do have hand mixer and honestly, I uh, use it a lot. Uh, so not only the stand mixer, but hand mixer sometimes when you need small quantities also very handy. When you choose hand mixer, look for the power. Uh, don't go with the highest power because uh, um, you need to have uh, uh, adjustable uh, speeds. Okay, so here from one to four. So basically, uh, uh, it's a low power power mixer but I'm using it on the force which gives me the medium power to make the perfect French meringue for example All right then uh, hand blenders uh, I use them both sometimes if I need to blend something the emulsifier blender this is Bamix uh, emulsifier blender uh, doesn't work all the time with the blending uh, uh, needs that I have uh, so it depends. If I need to emulsify, I use the Bamix. If I need to blend something just to break, for example, to make a mint paste, then I will use the normal blender. So let's see the difference. It's in the cup. So you see this, the regular blender has a tall cup, which gathers a lot of air underneath. So when we need to create um, uh, emulsions or we're making mirror glaze, this is quite difficult to work with. Then we have the emulsifier blender. This knife is different. If you can see, this is just uh, flat and this one is curved and there is no cup. So it means there is no air involved. When you are choosing Bamix, look for the uh, power. So here I even highlighted um, 160 watt. This is a medium power. If you have an opportunity to go for a larger one so it's going to be more heavy duty 
and uh, if you want like this brand i don't even know honestly what's this brand mm, no brand <laughs> all right so honestly any hand blender will work okay then the scales also number one tool uh what's important brand doesn't matter so don't even look at it what's important is uh, that you have uh, option of tare what does it mean you you're scaling something for example you put a ball and then you can press tara so it goes to zero and then you can put your ingredients you put one ingredient it's scaled you press tara it becomes zero you add you measure another ingredient and it also gives you units uh, can be uh, grams oz or cages whatever i usually use grams and i never change all right so that's the um, scale so again doesn't matter brand if you are very interested you can check the brand but and of course the weight 5 kg all right electronic scales then the zester uh, this is microplane brand and this zester you can find in tavola stores in middle east and this is maybe the only tool i will recommend you to get from tavola because i did i i didn't find anywhere else where you can buy it it it's worth every dirham you spend because this is amazing you can see in my video classes uh, how i use it and it it zest it zest just what we need the colorful skin of lime lemon or orange amazing okay this is amazing then uh, some scrapers i have uh, different um, uh, different sizes to uh, i have metal but honestly i prefer to use plastic it's just easier for me so all the possible scrapers i have then when it comes to thermometers thermometers this is my number one tool this is a laser thermometer you can buy it on amazon uh, ae amazon.com uh, it's from hardware store so please don't go to pastry store for this because it's going to be 10 times more the price but it does the same job uh, this uh, thermometer um, the one that you can put inside and measure uh, the uh, temperature of the uh, syrup or anything this is um, quite well this one specifically brand i will show you this is the it calls profi cook this made in germany so this is not a chinese uh, uh, brand it does show the accurate temperature but again when you want to measure the temperature you're putting it you cannot touch the bottom so let's see this is the protective one so you remove this you cannot you cannot touch the bottom it has to be in the middle of the liquid it's very hard to measure where is the middle of the liquid so it does the job but sometimes not so i wouldn't recommend to have this type of thermometers i will leave you the link to this video of what type of thermometer is the best all right so and uh, when it comes to uh, silicon spatulas i have all uh, types um, when it comes to silicon spatulas i have all the types this is the heat proof spatula silicon spatula so i can cook caramel with it or any hot syrups ikea spatula is just the best so i never ever saw anything better than this this is the cheapest spatula you can find it's from ikea and it's the best also uh, sometimes you need uh, to mix small quantities so smaller one is very handy so this is my best spatulas and when also what other tools are the um, um what is this like the not the scrapper uh, but w where do you need when you need to spread the door right when you need to spread the door when you need to lift the cake just it's important that it is angled all right i never use flat spatulas metal spatulas and i don't see the use of it and uh, small i have another one so i have two small one big that's the best and when it comes to whiskers i prefer only silicone i don't have metal and i'm not using the metal silicone are just the best and also i have this i call it the magic box uh let's see what's in the box right let's just let me just find them 
the best. Yeah, let's see what's in the box. So, scotch, regular scotch, uh, paper tape, knife. So this is this is like a decoration box. Uh, some molds, tools, um, uh, cookie cutters, the main um, uh, sizes I use and I keep it here. And then I have here all the uh, piping, um, piping nozzles that I use. So what am I making? I'm making a clears, so I need a, a nozzle attachment for a clear for decoration. I'm making meringues, I cook zephyr dessert, I'm making macarons. So that's why, so this is, uh, this is for eclairs, uh, this is to pipe uh, meringues uh, and zephyr and uh, uh, whipped ganache on eclair. This is for zephyr as well, for macarons, um, for also meringue, nice decoration. And uh, yeah, mainly that's all. Uh, nice tool, nice sponge on a stick for uh, chocolate uh, paintings uh, all this you can get from art stores all right not there is not from pastry stores this is from art uh, also the same for uh, these tools they are from art store um, specifically this one you can make um, daisy flower from chocolate you just dip it in chocolate dip it in chocolate and then place like this and you get the petals uh, the same for this, you can use it for cream decoration on the side of your cake in artistic way or you can also place it like this with the chocolate and make very interesting petals. So this is from the art store. Okay, um, one more, some mini ones. Uh, centers for flowers sometimes I do flowers and uh, this I will be covering this topic in my Isamalt master class and uh, yeah so these tools uh, because I used to uh, I used to work with the um, uh, sugar uh, with the um, ice uh, what do you call uh, not fondant the sugar um, yeah something like fondant <laughs> flowers I will show you now the pictures uh, of my flowers I don't think that you uh, ever uh, went all the way three years back in my Instagram so that tools are from that times but now I'm using these tools uh, for also for flowers very very rare I do flowers but uh, mostly for isomalt decoration so all these tools are for isomalt decoration small scissors and some brushes for chocolate decorations uh, edible pen sometimes you need to draw something so that's that's my uh, magic uh, box I store it in one place so like this you can uh, you can store it this this way so uh, I guess that will be all for the tools so of okay not all i forgot to show you this box from my basement so that's the box for uh, silicone uh, decorative um, decorations that i'm using for my customized uh, uh, cakes so i just want to show you all i'm using all i'm not using but mainly i'm using it all so let me just grab it all So that's the pail. <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. So if uh, I used to specialize in kids uh, cakes, so that's why I have a lot for kids decoration numbers, nice uh, uh, numbers, chocolate uh, for chocolate that you can put uh, how many years the child is. This I used for boys and this more uh, curl curvy uh, I used for the girls. Then uh, this chocolate mat is amazing. You can um, you can feel uh, different colors and you can store it. Uh, mermaid design again. This is all from AliExpress. The Chinese uh, molds amazingly perfect. I used it really a lot, and this they, because they're thin and these tails work just perfectly fine. And you, if you can see, some molds are cut. You can buy it and you can even split it with your friends. You can just cut with scissors and have one. Uh, when it comes to letters, 
uh, I used to have, uh, okay, I used to have another one. I don't have it anymore. But um, letters as cubes and also these small letters are very cute. If you want to put name, I always use only chocolate for this uh, purpose. Another numbers, numbers. Uh, this buttons, super cute. And um, when you are buying such elements as these buttons and uh, these chocolates, if you have a chance to buy many, molds let's say three four five so then you melt a big quantity of white chocolate then you can color it with pink and you can feel 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 put in the fridge release and then you store so when next time your customer orders you already have everything for example like this this is you know from zero to three years old for sure these decorations they don't require anything to add you just keep it in different colors this is from japanese store honestly never used but it's uh, still this is easy to use because uh, nothing much to paint you can paint the uh, hello kitty eyes and this is like for dog lovers uh, when it comes to hearts also super handy all the time using mini hearts and medium hearts and this is by the way how you can make it gold you need to paint with gold uh, from mold from inside then you pour the chocolate and then you release the golden heart okay then a lot of chocolate balls all the sizes so you see i cut my uh, molds in half so it's just easier to work with big medium and i used to have small but no i don't have right this molds i'm using uh, for chocolate balls and for peony flower so you can see how the peony flower looks like and to make it you just need to have one mold like uh, this then this shape i use to it's an egg shape but i use it to create a body for swan or for flamingo uh, soon will be available in my uh, online uh, decoration online masterclass for decoration so that's the tool that we will need to create a body so that's like the basic tools you have a circle and you have an egg shape impression mat remember i just showed you before uh, the hearts and also uh, it's silicone art here it's written silicone art uh you can buy it that large that as i had the hearts or you can buy it a4 size paper that will also fit also what you can do is i used to have a square like this and i cut a circle from it so this is for 16 centimeter cake or even 18 i just place it on the bottom of the ring and then start assembling my mousse cake so i have this impression uh all right uh, what else yeah that's the numbers then also when it comes to uh, when it comes to the uh this uh, mermaid tails perfectly when you have a bigger a medium and small to create a beautiful uh look and design when you can put big medium and small so that's very nice uh, to continue the uh topic of this uh of the sea seashells always nice nice to use and also this was very very nice they look super realistic uh seashells as well for lego cakes uh, i use this mold but most of the time i use this one just like it. this super nice looks like lego this is also fine uh, then there are such molds as the plastic molds um, they are uh, from uh, this one is from etsy.com and it calls here yeah, like plastic mold for soap mainly for soap they use it and uh, for decorations it's super nice also for chocolate you just pour one make uh, then you make another and you can just stick them together to make an open big big shell and put like a big white bead in the middle super nice and also super handy uh, to make a chocolate uh, uh, football ball i use just a half sphere and then i just paint it in a football design so that's now that's all 
Thank you so much for uh, watching my tools video. I really hope that it will help you no matter where you are. Are you a beginner? Are you an, an advanced baker? I hope you found uh, something interesting for you. You found some answers. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the description, uh, under the description box. Uh, I will answer every single question that you will leave uh, under this video and I will also put all the links to the websites whatever I will try to remember everything where I buy and what are the brands of the tools thank you bye